Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Young Dad Conversation. My name is Ricardo Salcido. I was, I'm not mad at him, but at the end of the day, he's like, it was just, I knew there was something missing. Right. If it was there from yeah. the beginning, then, you know, it would be, I would, it'd probably be different. If I'm doing something, I mean, I'm not too busy. I like to ask my daughter, like, what do you want to do today? Okay. Like, you want to color? You want to go to the museum? Would you like to go out to eat somewhere? Just daddy daughter time sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Every All right. day. I mean, I at least take the time to go and at least walk her that block. Right. Because even though it is a block, it's a block that you're spending with your daughter. Right. So, right. I mean, you do whatever you need to do to be in the part of your kid's life. Yeah. A lot of fathers and young fathers, they don't find the time to want to do that. Or right. Find time to want to spend with their children sort of just taking them somewhere just to play right. or just playing in the dirt with them. So yeah. Little, my dad, uh, they're from the island, so yeah. they they punish with hits. Yeah. D d did you spank your first child? I did not, no. No? Yeah, I didn't spank any of my kids. You haven't? Have wow, not, that's, that's amazing. Uh, I, I've yelled. I, yeah. Learning how to stay under the radar so that I wouldn't get hit with things that were being thrown around the house. This was at home growing this up. Was home wow. Growing up. I had that kind of a childhood. So then wow. here you are, you're in the basement, your girlfriend is still pregnant. Right. Um, time's, time's ticking, she's about to, the baby's about to be born. Right. What, what is going through your mind? What is, what is happening? Well, it, it's a cult, it's really a shock to your system, <laughs> and, you know, and, and eventually her and I broke up and I ended up living someplace yeah, else. Yeah. I didn't sign the reading log, yeah. and then her mom called me and said, all right, I've got to let you know that I didn't, you didn't do what you're supposed to do. I, you got to let her get away with it. Now I'm doing this reading log thing, and I got to do other things with her. And so I, I, I was on I, the phone, and it was kind of like, <laughs> yeah, she got so, me. By the like, way, that happens to me at home. <laughs> Oh, okay, so, good. I mean, you're lucky you yeah. get it long distance. Yes, yes, yeah. I got it on the phone. I you get, get it personal. I get, I get it at home. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Lucky you, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, but I felt like I was right there in front of her. Yeah. There's yeah. always a desire to be more understanding, more in okay. tune. I mean, it's a, it's a rolling desire, you know, to stay current. In fact, they're going to be moving further and further away from you, and but the paradox is, is that the relationship grows deeper and more complex. Happened, you know? Was she that crazy that you couldn't come, <laughs> you couldn't come drive by and just roll the window down and tell me, hop in, hop in? <laughs> All right. Be on the lookout for the next segment. Thank you. <laughs>